Kayla. Kayla asked about the love issue. Um, this problematic brother of mine, you know, is interesting. I like people that challenge me because I don't like yes men. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I like people that challenge me because that's when I don't have a fair balance. I understand that. Yes, there are some areas of dissatisfaction with the Labour proposition. But it's also true that he has done some good work. Yeah. I mean, each one of us here have the, our anatomies. Yes. And dealing with the dictatorship. If they don't compromise you, they will make it appear like they compromise you. Yes. And the late president of Uganda, Dr. Mitchell Lopote, said, it is not what is true that matters, but what appears to be true. To be true, yeah. So, I am the one that appointed the leader of opposition. So, while it takes the them, I want to share with them as well. Mm -hmm. And I will say, because it's a plan. Yeah! I trust you. But I will not forget to be thankful for the good work that the right honorable Matthias Mboga has done for the Uganda. I always want to thank the people first. More good than bad. And then blame them later. In fact, I want to thank them publicly and then blame them Private. privately. Yeah. Because as we speak now, Honorable Mboga. Is a representation of our strength and our weakness, of our good and our bad. Mm -hmm. So that, like I said, the question me. Um. <laughs> Jamil. Yes. Jamil asked me about the LGBT issue. Um, the World Bank suspended loans to Uganda. Recently, I was leading the charge, demanding the international community to revise this relationship with Uganda, to slap sanctions to Uganda, and telling them that when Robert Mugabe did to the Zimbabweans what Museveni has done to Uganda to was sanctioned, when Gaddafi, uh, Taylor, your fellow Taylor from Liberia, um, you know, Saddam, when they did what Museveni did, Open less, they were sanctioned. How come then that Muslim is not being sanctioned? We have been gross human rights violations in Uganda. We have cried for this for the longest time, even before I got into practical politics. But nothing has been changed. When we passed the anti gay law in Uganda, boom. Sanctions. Sanctions. It made me question why we are happy the sanctions are being slapped mm. on General Seven. But we still ask, we still question the selective observation of yeah. human rights in Africa. That's what I've been saying. Like that. And what am I saying is in 2009, we massacred the people yes. on the Kayuga protest when we blocked Kabaka from accessing his territory. In Kayunga. No seven massacred people. We didn't see one sanction. Nothing. Yes. In 2014, Museveni passed the anti gay bill part one. Mm -hmm. That was 2014. Mm -hmm. And then sanctions were slapped yes. to Uganda. Yes. To the extent that Museveni, using his voice, Fox Odoi and Andrew Mwenda, repealed that law through court. Yes. Which For me, and many Ugandans, we know that Museveni right. is using the anti gay bill as a way every time he sees he has lost yes. popularity Stick. among our people it's who are black and religious, yeah. they will pull out that Stick. to endear himself yes. to the population. Yes. But not in good faith, it has to bring that in good faith. Absolutely. Because if he was bringing it in good faith, I mean, we have so many problems that need to be legislated on in Uganda. And he didn't know us then. Mm -hmm. But he gave that importance. So, past 2014, 
and he was repeated later and on his directive. In 2016, two years later, Museveni, using a way, massacred hundreds of people in Kasese, women stripped naked, tied with hands, children stripped naked, tied with hands, and men shot them point blank in their hundreds on the head. We call for sanctions zero. Among That's those people that were killed in Kazese, we don't know whether some were gay or not, but they were human beings. Yeah. They are right. That's my point. They are very selective. Nothing happened. Very selective. In 2020, in two days, mm. November 19th and November 18th, 18. more than 150 people were killed on the camera. It was shown on BBC, on CNN. Many, many, many people have reported on it. Killing carelessly. We called for sanctions because that was gross violation of human rights. We want to believe that the right to life is a fundamental human right. But it is a right. We called for sanctions apart from a few statements that we are brought up. Nothing happened. You know? In 2021, January 14, Museveni planned and rigged the election. He blocked United States election observers. He blocked European election observers. He rigged the election. Even the United States Foreign Department issued a statement. He's missing those elections. Neither they were not free and fair. The EU did the same. Yes. Guess what? Those were all the statements. But only a few months later, billions we are were born again. To help them continue doing the same. Eh. See, what values Very bring us together with the international community? Yes. Now in 2023, Museveni brought the anti gay part two. Yes. And like I said, he uses it yes. for politics. Yes. He uses it when he has nothing anymore to say. Yes. Because he has nothing to discredit me. He will either say I am a tribalist because yes. he thinks it's the castle here in Uganda. I don't agree. He's going to yeah. yes. If he does not use tribalism, he's going to say we are agents oh, of the right. rights. Of colonials. If he does not say that, he is going to say we are agents of homosexuals. Yes. It is, it is. Yes. So he brought that thing, targeting, among others, the opposition. Because it's one of the things he wants to use. I mean, when you come to America, it's very easy to say, oh, you're from America, where they are homosexuals. Now you have been dealing with them. And in that law, you can be in prison. And you can be in prison and it will stop you from challenging you. Okay. So he brought it. And then boom, the world explodes. Mm. Like they were not. Boom, they get serious. I said it one time, tell her, don't stop filming. Continue filming me because I want the world to hear my words. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We want his questions answered. We want his questions answered. We want his questions answered. Yeah. That in Africa, all the gay rights are human rights. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, it is selective observation of human rights. The African people, they even start to question, they say, what are you pushing? Yeah. Yeah. What agenda are you driving? So you mean, in Africa, to be considered as a person of human rights, you have to be gay? The people that were massacred in the November massacre, we don't know whether there were some of them among them. Yeah. So we believe that all human rights are human rights and all human rights.